What's up everybody, this is Maddie Mo, and today we're gonna be talking about what is the best hard drive to buy that has the least amount of failure rates. <laughs> So you're looking to buy a new hard drive, why not buy one that's going to last you a very long time with very low failure rates? And this video is based on regular hard drives. No SSDs were tested in this study. In fact, the only manufacturers being tested in this study were Seagate, Western Digital, and HGST. And these guys are all big names. In fact, here's a list of all the models that were tested in this study. There's a lot to go over, so I'm going to leave a link down below in the description so that you can take a look at the list afterwards. So Blackblaze just recently released an amazing study detailing which hard drives had the highest failure rate in their data center. Over 41,000 hard drives from their data center were tested from January 1st, 2014 to December 31st, 2014. Now in order for a hard drive make and model to be considered as part of the experiment, they had to have at least 45 of them in their data center. Now a hard drive was considered failed when it met one of these three criteria. The first one, the drive will not spin or connect to the OS. The second one is the drive will not sync or stay synced in a RAID array. And finally, the smart stats show values above Black Blaze's threshold, which basically means if the smart stats show that the hard drive was about to fail or looked like it was about to fail, it would be considered a failure. So for the year 2014, HGST had the least amount of failures. If you're wondering why you don't see any four terabyte Western digital hard drives in this chart, it's because the price was too expensive for four terabyte hard drives from Western Digital, and therefore it wasn't worth purchasing them for their data center. But between the four terabyte Seagate and four terabyte HGST, you can see the HGST had the lowest failure rate with only 1.4%. When you compare this to Seagate, Seagate had 2.6%. Now Blackface says they still prefer Seagate because the better price that they were able to receive on their hard drives, making them the better overall buy. Now one thing for sure is that the three terabyte hard drives had the highest failure rate between all manufacturers, with Seagate's drive having a whopping 40% failure rate. HGST had the lowest failure rate followed by Western Digital. Now unfortunately the only six terabyte drives they have are from Western Digital and since they're fairly new there isn't much data on them as of yet. But so far there's only been a 3.1% failure rate out of the 276 terabyte drives that they currently own. So here's the bottom line. Stay away from three terabyte hard drives, especially anything from Seagate. Now, if you have to buy a three terabyte hard drive, HGST, which was formerly Hitachi, is your best bet as they have the lowest failure rate. Overall, the best hard drive you can buy from the study are obviously the four terabyte hard drives. They have proven to be the best option out of all the different sizes. They all have very low failure rates and Seagate and HGST are both great options. Six terabytes are still looking pretty solid, but it's still too early to tell how well they compare to the four terabyte drives. In the end, all hard drives will eventually fail. But based on what you're doing, the best thing to do is to buy a drive that offers really good value, which seems to be the four terabyte drives from HGST and Seagate. So that pretty much wraps it up for the best hard drives you can buy along with their failure rates. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more awesome videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see everybody in the next one.